Hey guys, this is Sean. Uh, I just wanted to shoot this video real quick. Um, it's just a little video to show you how to add uh, uh, some tags up here on your bookmarks toolbar that can uh, speed things up for you a little bit. Um, you're going to be using a lot of different uh, windows and you're going to be going back often and daily, uh, especially to sites like Blog Lines, Word Tracker, um, also using the 30-day uh, challenge umbrella phrase research tool. But I'm just going to show you how to add uh, the Blog Lines tag up here so you can get uh, quick access access to the blog lines. First you want to go to, and I'm using Mozilla Firefox, go to your views menu, go to toolbars, and you'll see bookmarks toolbar. Go ahead and click on that, and as you can see here, I got a nice little toolbar here. And you can add pretty much anything you want on here, any um, pay, web page that you want. Um, as you can see, I have Word Tracker, I have Google News, and Google Blog. Um, so I'm going to add blog lines. So let me type in bloglines.com. Go to feeds. And so this is the page that I want to get to um, on a daily basis. And this is the page that you guys are wanna, gonna want to bookmark as well because um, you'll be looking at the feeds and uh, uh, kind of browsing through them as uh, Ed's video showed today on day 10. Uh, looking for content and getting some good ideas and just kind of educating you on the niche that you're going to go into. So what you want to do from here is, now that we have the page, is we want this feeds. So I'm going to go ahead and left click, hold my mouse down, and drag it up to the toolbar. And pretty much we're done at that point. So you have this here, and it's going to go ahead and bookmark this page. Now you can go ahead and let's go ahead and customize this a little bit because it'll just give you default uh, name. So for the name, I'm going to use blog lines. And for the location, for some reason it does add some additional letters on there that you don't necessarily want. What you want to have for location is you want it to match up with what the location shows up here. So I am going to remove the underscore SUBS and hit OK. And we're basically done. So let me show you how that works just to make sure that it works. I'm going back to Google. From there I say, hey, I want to check my blog lines. And it should come up if everything works out okay. Try it again. All right, and there you have it. So, and you can do this with pretty much any page, whatever your page you're on. Um, as, an, as an example, I can go to Google. Let's go ahead and drag Google, click, and boom, you have Google up there. So from there, you can go blog lines and then say, hey, I want to go back to Google. And there you have it. Oh, and here again, kind of just shows you the importance of going to the properties and making the location match what it should be in the toolbar. Let's try that again. And there you have it. So hopefully this uh, little tip helps you out. And I uh, hope you guys have a good weekend. Uh, take some time. Get out. Enjoy. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Um, hopefully you guys are having beautiful weather. I'm here in Southern, Southern California, so it's really nice. But uh, you guys are doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Um, this weekend is important to uh, go ahead and zero in on your niches. And if you guys do need any help with your niches, um, let me know, and I'll see what I can do and see, see where we can get uh, a couple of uh, keyword phrases that work for um, each of the little tests that we have. And once we have that going, then we'll move into the traffic, the conversion, the product, and getting everyone to their first $10. So look forward to talk to you guys soon. Um, I'll set up a conference call next week, probably in, in the evening. It sounds like weekdays are best for everyone. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.